What's up, YouTube fragrance family and friends? Tommy with Studio Sense here, and it's that time again for another cheapy list. We are rapidly moving towards cooler climbs, so I wanted to get in front of you guys another cheapy list so you could add more variety to your summer rotation. It's not too late to update, so today is all about pairing up two fragrances from one designer. So when we come back, we're gonna go over these five sets of fragrances, 10 cheapies that you could potentially add to your summer rotation and why you might wanna do that. Plus, we're gonna do a giveaway, that and more, so stay Stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So we've got five designers, two fragrances each. Just tell you a little bit about the fragrances and that way you can make your mind up whether you're interested in them or not. And then before I let you guys go today, we're gonna do a giveaway. The very first fragrance we're gonna take a look at that you might wanna consider picking up if you don't already have it is from the house of Perry Ellis. It is Bold Red. Bold Red opens with red apple and finger lime, so it's very fruity, but then it moves into a little bit darker. You've got ginger flower, you've got black pepper, and some green leaves in the heart, resting on a darker base of mahogany wood, tonka bean, and musk. It's a great fall fragrance, but it's also a nice summertime, cooler weather fragrance moving in to the colder weather. It's a nice transition fragrance. Perry Ellis Bold Red. Our next scent that we're going to pair up with Bold Red, of course, is also from Perry Ellis, but it's kind of a summertime fair. It is pure blue. Obviously, this is a blue aquatic fragrance, but I really like both of these because they open with apple. So you've got grapefruit, you've got apple, a little bit of bergamot in the open. In the heart, you've got green notes, you've got a little bit of sweet, creamy cardamom, and some marine or aquatic notes, resting on a base that's musk, sandalwood, white moss, and something called blue amber which there's no such thing, so it's gonna be an aroma chemical that approximates a warm, welcoming kind of amber, but on the marine or aquatic side. So it's all about aquatics. It's a very easy to wear, casual Perry Ellis fragrance, and I recommend Pure Blue. Our next fragrance house we're gonna focus on is Alfred Dunhill, and they released a fragrance in the year 2000 that became quite popular, especially when the price dropped for one of those hidden gems. It is, of course, Desire for Men. It's a great scent, it's very seductive, so it's a nice date night staple. This one opens with apple as well. You'll notice apples in a lot of these. It just adds a nice tart side to it but you've also got bergamot and neroli. You've got patchouli, rose, teakwood in the heart. You've got labdanum, musk, and there's a vanilla in the base. Great combination. You can see where it's going in the territory of, of date night because it's kind of lightly sweet, very woody. Doesn't smell dated at all, and that's why I really like it and why I recommend it to you guys. Very sexy, very seductive. Alfred Dunhill, Desire for Men. Sticking with Alfred Dunhill, our second and our second pair, or I guess you could say our fourth cheapy fragrance is kind of the flip side of Desire. It's not a date night fragrance, but it's kind of what you would term a freshy. But I really like this fragrance. It is Alfred Dunhill Desire Blue Ocean. Blue Ocean doesn't get talked about a lot, but I think it's very similar to Halloween Man Hero. It's got a very nice, bright, citrusy side that just lasts and lasts, and that's what I like about it. It's an aquatic fragrance, but it's got a really lemony, citrusy heart that just stays with the life of the fragrance, but it also has that soft, kind of seductive vibe that is the desire DNA. This one opens with some citruses. It's got mint in there, a little bit of tonic to balance out the citrus. You've got that very lemony, but also a little bit of lime. In the hearts where we get our apple, actually a Granny Smith apple, you've also got a aroma chemical called Sea Breeze, that's the aquatic, and a bit of orange blossom. And finally, it rests on ambroxan, patchouli, vetiver, and some sweet tonka bean. Out of all the ones that we talk about today, this one probably feels the most modern in terms of summertime fragrance or summertime fare. If you haven't tried Blue Ocean, I think you should definitely check it out. Dunhill Desire Blue Ocean. Our next cheapy duo that I can easily recommend to add some variety to your summer rotation is actually from the house of Zara. And it actually comes packaged together and uh, I'll flip it over so you can see the price is $25.90 for both of them, not for a single one. So extremely inexpensive and it has the notes listed on the back so you don't have to go look up the note breakdown. And the very first one is weekend till 8 p.m. So in other words, this is the daytime fragrance to wear from morning until 
evening. It's a very wearable. This opens with a very fruity tangerine and pineapple, and there's some green accords in the open as well. Moves into a heart of apple. You've got orange blossom and peach. So again, it's all about the fruits and you can't help but to smell just an, an extremely fruity open. The base is a nice trifecta of woods, amber, and vanilla. Bartles and James used to have a wine cooler that was peach schnapps, and I'm sure you can probably go out and find a peach schnapps wine cooler now. It's a fantasy flavor, but it, you really like the taste of it. If you like the taste or the smell of peach, then you'll really like this. Even though it's just a fantasy fruity fragrance, it dries down into something that's extremely pleasant and wearable. Zara weekend till 8 p.m. Now, of course, the obvious matchup with this is the bottle that it came with, and that is Zara weekend until 3 a.m. So if you wanna stay up till 3 a.m., this is the nighttime version. Now, these, both of these originally came out in 2016, and they've been reformulated since then this one however the formula has stayed the same it is darker it is denser it's a very nice nighttime fragrance it's a very nice date night fragrance and it goes great with cooler weather one of those transitional fragrances moving from warm to cooler this one opens with bergamot pineapple calamansi got a heart of lavender szechuan pepper and violet leaves resting on a base of cedarwood oak moss and amber so has that kind of masculine typical masculine fragrance DNA in it, but it's extremely pleasant. And for two fragrances, less than 30 bucks, Zara weekend until 8 p.m. and weekend until 3 a.m. Our next two cheapies or pairing of cheapies coming from the House of Police, the 2B line of fragrances. Personally, I don't mind the presentation. I think it's often pretty cool. And some of these fragrances are really good. For example, 2B Mr. Beat. This one has an apple sorbet. It's got bergamot, a little bit of cardamom in the open. Moves into lavender, marine notes, and patchouli, resting on a base of vetiver, leather, and cedar. So that leather note in there adds a little bit of resins where you don't normally expect it, especially in aquatic fragrances. So it turns out to be a really inexpensive, cheap, masculine fragrance. And the atomizers on these guys will actually kind of surprise you. Check this out. You don't have to wait to the dry down of this to get that leather payout. It's immediate with this fragrance, and that's one reason that I really like it. Police to be Mr. Beat. So we're sticking with the House of Police, and we're actually sticking with the 2B line. This one was released last year. It is Police to be Bad Guy. Bad Guy is actually a surprisingly complex fragrance for less than 20 bucks. It's also a good fragrance to talk about now because it's a nice transitional fragrance from warmer weather to cooler weather. This one opens with an odd mix of blood orange. You've got red thyme, you've got a little bit of peppermint and some other green notes. It's got a heart of geranium, white blossoms, and apple sorbet. They're all about that apple sorbet. With a base of vanilla, tonka bean, vetiver, musk, and caramel. That's right, caramel or caramel, however you want to say it. So it's almost like a light gourmand resinous fragrance and I really like that obviously there's a healthy dose of synthetics in here because it's so cheap but it uses them really well and it's a very well blended fragrance you should definitely check out to be bad guy by police our final fragrance house for our cheapy pairings is the house of guess guess actually produces some really good cheap and midline fragrances the very first one we're going to consider came out in 2011 it is guess seductive om it opens up with a great mix of cardamom pink pepper and mandarin orange it's got a heart of vanilla orchid violet leaf vetiver and a base of amber wood there's musk patchouli and sandalwood in there as well. It's just a well-rounded fragrance and for a cheapie you're not going to expect anything mind-blowing but I guarantee you you'll like this more than you anticipated that you would. I've actually talked about Seductive Blue in this line smelling like Lanui Delome and it truly does. Obviously it's taking ideas from other fragrances but it does it really well and it's a, it's a really nicely blended fragrance and for the price that you pay and for this one I think I got it at TJ Maxx for under 20 bucks it's very well worth it. And besides that really good performance. Guess Seductive on. Of course, if you followed my channel, you know what the final fragrance that we're going to be talking about is, and it actually has to do with our giveaway. So our final cheapie is Guest Seductive Om Noir. Seductive Om Noir is one of those fragrances, as soon as I smelled it, I was like, it smells very similar to like Armani Code Absolute. It's got some similarities to it. It's, it's like obviously a dumbed down version or a cheaper version that doesn't have near the quality smell that 
Now Armani fragrance has. Grapefruit, black pepper, and nutmeg is the open, lavender, apple, and orange blossom in the heart. Resting on a base of tonka beans, sandalwood, and liquid ambar. With those notes in there, it's I don't really necessarily have to describe the DNA because if you've smelled Armani Code Absolute, it has a really spicy overtone and it's really pleasant and very nice for transitioning into summer into cooler weather. Guess Seductive Noir. I like to give the whole spectrum of fragrances some love on occasion. So it's good to have some cheapies on hand. Speaking of cheapy lists, it's time to talk about the giveaway. So the giveaway is going to be the Guess Seductive Noir set here. So you're looking at a 100 ml eau de toilette, you're looking at the body spray and the shower gel, I believe. I really like it. I've used all of these, really enjoy it. And I think you guys will too. To win this set, all you've got to do is like this video, make sure you're subbed to the Studio Sense account, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite summer cheapy is. And it doesn't have to be the favorite of all time. It could be your favorite this summer. And that will enter you to win the Guest Seductive Om Noir Kit. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. We're very steadily coming closer and closer to 10K. And we're going to do a huge giveaway then. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking out today's video. And of course, as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow. <music>